Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. <laughs> you know, I'm having fun with this green screen. Can you tell? It is time for the WTW weekly weigh in and meeting topic du jour. I feel like I'm a newscaster. Dish with D reporting from my WW. Hey, Weight Watchers, call me. It's time for my weekly weigh in. Yes, it is a different day. I am, oh, hello, Mini Pearl. I have my. New Pure Vita bracelets on. I left the tag on. Yeah, I'm a hot mess. Didn't even see it there. I am here for my weekly weigh-in and meeting topic du jour. Well, my weigh-in was exactly the same. I'm not surprised. It was only two days later. So, that's fine. I didn't, you know, it, it could have been a lot worse. So, let's move on. And the, let's go to the recipe real quick, because since I have it sitting in front of me, they did a donut this week. I'm not sure, of course, if it was Fat Tuesday Donut Week on Tuesday or not. I'm not sure. But it's a strawberry lemon baked donut. And if you haven't seen it already, I did a video on it this week. I will have it linked in the cards below. It is a, um, they have here four points on green, three on blue, and three on purple. I actually got it to two because I used monk fruit. I mean, you could use sugar. Three points isn't that terrible for a donut. I just figured, I always use monk fruit anyway. I'm kind of used to it, so I just went with the monk fruit. That, is that the only thing I changed? I think that's the only thing I changed was the monk fruit. I used powdered monk fruit and granular monk fruit, so there was no sugar in my donut. But other than that, it's exactly the same. I tried swapping out the milk, but it didn't change the point, so really? I might as well use regular milk, 1%. So yeah, there was no sense putting cashew if it didn't affect the points. So I left it because I have 1% anyway. Had I not had it, I would have just used cashew, but I have 1%. So they're very good. We enjoyed them. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It will be linked in the description box. The recipe link will be linked in the description box. When I go check it out, it is a WW original recipe. So I have linked in my blog with my adjustments, but check wherever you wish. So what is the topic du jour this week, Dee? Thanks for asking. How to make, I'm looking at the screen behind you, just so you know, I'm not looking past you. It's on my computer, which is what my phone is leaning on. Yeah, low budget here, low budget production here. How to make tracking work for you. Okay, try this. Make tracking part of your regular routine in a way that works best for you by answering the questions below. Then test out the technique for a week to see how it goes. Number one, is it easier to track all of your daily foods at once or as you go? For me, it's as I go. I mean, if I know we're going to a restaurant, I will track that because I check out the menu prior. But yeah, I don't usually pre-track until unless there's like, yeah, I just don't. <laughs> unless, like I said, unless we're going to a restaurant... I always pick out what I'm ordering before this way. I don't have to, you know, be swayed. Do you prefer tracking before, during, or after you eat? During. I'm usually tracking while I'm eating most times. But everybody's different. How do you handle estimating smart point values when you don't know the exact answer? This is a really good one. I always say, break it down. I like to call that deconstructing your meal. Deconstruct. How much of this is in there? How much of that is in there? I make a lot of deconstructed meals, but when you're out, you just have to give it some points. Again, you could be off by a little bit either way. Is that going to affect your way in? Probably not. If you're off by a point or two, you'd have to be off by 10 to 15 points. Even then, that's a big stretch. But yeah, you have to give it something. So take it apart. Was there cheese in there? Was there oil used in there? Was there mayonnaise in there? Pointed stuff. Like, I don't sweat the non-pointed stuff, like vegetables, and there was a yogurt. Well, it might be a full-fat yogurt, so I'm not worried about that. But things like cheese and oil, breads, those things are heavy in points, depending on the type of meat that you eat. If you're not eating chicken or fish, you're having a steak, you're having pork. I don't count pork. That's just me. Especially like a, a loin, like a little tenderloin or a loin. They're just very lean. I mean, you're not talking a butt roast. A butt roast is a little bit different, it's a little bit fattier, but a loin, I mean, I don't sweat the small stuff. I just don't. But that's me. You need to do what works for you. 
but yeah, deconstruct your meal. You could sit there, yeah, give it a couple points for cheese, a couple points for fat, and if there's some breading, and if it's fried, you know, there's just little things you could just do, 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 do. or go to, on the re in the um, restaurant and find a recipe that's just like it or similar and use that. I've done that many times too. Do you ever save your meals on the WW app for quicker tracking, or do you tend to start fresh and scratch each time? Um, certain things that I have routinely, like overnight oats, is in there. Um, so some things like that that I have a lot are already in my app. So yeah, I would definitely tend to track it quicker. I use the quick track as opposed to, like, I'll sit there and, okay, breakfast. Well, I had eggs and toast and avocado, and there was some cheese in my eggs. So I'll sit there and I'll say breakfast was six points, and I'll put breakfast six points. I kind of do that, but that might not work for you. You might need to put each individual thing. Find what your sweet spot is and then work with that. What If it works for you, you'll do it. If it doesn't, you won't. That's the bottom line. How often do you handle estimating smart point values when you do know the exact answer? Do you ever save your... Okay, I already read that. They have these things written underneath. What strategies did you lean on? The barcode scanning takes pictures of your meals. Oh, the barcode scanner taking pictures of your meals. Sometimes I've done that. If I'm at a restaurant and you're with people and you really don't want to sit there and figure it out, I kind of take a picture and go back to it and doing it later. Because I think sometimes you need to give your attention to the people that you're with. I mean, I kind of know what I'm eating. When you do it long enough, it does become second nature. So I always say, track. If you keep tracking, you will get better at it. You will keep doing it and you will be able to do it faster. And a lot of people will ask me, D, what's the points on that? What is the, and not that I mind giving it because I don't, but you don't learn by asking. You learn by doing. So I always try to say, put it in your recipe builder, figure it out. Because once, like, would we give our kids at school? Like I'm, I, I'm a teacher's aide in first grade. Do I tell the kids the answer? No, because they're not going to learn anything. I want you to learn how to figure it out. And you can. I just, you know, when people say, oh, can I the points for that? Well, sure, you can have it. But I'd rather you sit there and figure it out. Because the more you figure it out, the quicker you can figure it out. Like, how do I come up with points? Because I've learned and I've done it. And it becomes routine. And that's what it needs to become for you. Second nature. People always say, I don't want to track for the rest of my life. It will ever be a day that I don't track? I get that. But... Tracking helps me eat more. See, that's why I track. So I know what I have left. Do I have left for dessert? How much do I have left for dessert? If I just leave it in my head, then it, it'll take me... Tw I might forget something because I'm not a spring chicken. Memory is not the best. So I need to have to go back there to see what I could, I could have dessert. And how much... Not that I can have dessert. How much dessert could I have? Because sometimes you got four or five points. Sometimes you got one or two points. That's a big difference in your piece. Let's dive a little deeper. I love when they say, let's dive a little deeper. Let's deep dive into this. Studies show that tracking consistently, more often, even in less detail, is more important on the road to success than tracking or little tracking can drill you and eat daily. That's what I just said. That's why we figure out what works for you is key to fitting tracking into your routine by taking away worrying about perfection we more likely will do it and keep up with it on a regular basis that's why i use the quick ad i think that that it's quicker it's less time and i'll do it and do the wins help sure they do i mean i think it's fun to build your wins up but like i said i do the quick ad pretty much 95 percent of the time lunch all right i'll sit there as i'm eating i had a tortilla i had turkey did i have a pickle i don't count the pickle i had some chips how much were the chips? Three points. So I knew my wrap was one, my turkey was one, my chips were three. So I know I had a five point lunch. So I put lunch five points. And I do it as I'm eating so I don't forget because I might forget I had this or that. Let me tell you something. When you're busy and you eat really fast, you forget what you're eating. You do. And it's not anybody's fault. It's just the nature of the beast. So tracking is important. And I say this about the holidays. Not, and we're not around a holiday, but people that like, I'm not tracking. I want to enjoy my holiday. I'm not saying don't enjoy it. I'm just saying know what you've eaten for future reference for the next day because 
you're not in the holiday the next day and you need to know how much you could eat. And if something comes up, well, can I fit that in? Can I fit in that glass of wine at that party? I don't know. I ate too much on the holidays, but I don't know what I ate because I didn't track it. And there's a difference between having 35 points and having 55 points. There's a difference between having 30 points and 56 points. You just need to know. I'm not saying don't eat it. I'm just saying put it in your tracker. Because people, if you didn't track it, did you eat? Of course you did. Who are you fooling? You're not fooling anybody because the scale will show it. But it's always good to know. This way you can go back and look what I do wrong this week, what I do right this week. Let me look at my tracker. All right. Based on how you answer these questions, figure out how you can track. That might mean snapping a photo of your food and tracking all at once or tracking your meal as you go. I track as I eat nine times out of ten. Then figure out when you'll track. That might mean setting aside five to ten minutes after dinner every night to make it happen. I think ten minutes is way too long to track. You don't need ten minutes. See, that if it tells me ten minutes, I'm not tracking on ten minutes. You need like about less than a minute. Honestly, like I said, keep in mind when you're building your food, track it as you're preparing it. And then when you go sit down, just go over that in your head again. Now that you've been tracking, you have the tracking game plan. It's time to set up your environment for success as you remember to do it. Did you know 70% of all WW Success Registry members reported tracking smart points most of the time or always? I definitely think people who track are more successful than people that don't. My leader always says, track only on the days you want to lose. You know, you bite it, you write it. You got to, you got to, you got, and I always say honest tracking. We can track, but do we honestly track? Yeah, I had that Reese's peanut butter cup. If I didn't track it, then track it, track it. You will do better when you track things. Honestly, you will. All right, and the, I think I told you about the, I think that's it. So yeah, I am a tracker. Um, consistency versus perfection. If you're consistent with it and you do it, it will become easier and it will become routine. I pick up, and I think it's easier on my phone. Some people like to have a journal or like a book, whatever is, if you're a writer, then write. If you're, and I'm all about electronics. Like when I originally started Weight Watchers back in 2013, I did it online with my app. So when I went and joined for meetings, they didn't offer the both. We only had meetings. I mean, I know I could have, I just didn't buy, I, I assumed that the app came with it. Silly me. And when it didn't, I thought, oh, well, it's okay. I, you know, I, I'll just, and then I was, I missed it. I missed having the th quick, especially if you're, you know, if you have a, if it's like a, one of those things you're at in the restaurant, not restaurant, like the store, you can scan things, scan meals, scan canned things, and then you know what they are. I scan my bag of chips like these. Scan it. So I know what I have. Look at the blue air watch. So yeah, it's just easier and you keep, and you know, and you move on. It's, you know, I do say consistency. You have to be consistent. And that's the thing. I say this a lot as well. You want to be successful, you have to put the work in. I'm not going to do the work for you. I would love to, but that's not going to help you. You need to help yourself. And like I say, if I can sit here and sit here at goal, you can. If I could put the work in, so can you. But yeah, it does take work. It's not a party getting here. It's not. I didn't sit there and like it's it's a lot easier and much more fun to gain weight than it is to lose weight. It's 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 hard, it's gut wrenching some days and and some days you're just sad and depressed because you just miss the old life. But if you make food fun and make food good and it can be fun again. It can. You know, you just with me it's right now I'm I'm food is good, it's just I still want more. I'm still this portion thing. But I'm a work in progress. Um, baby steps. And I'm getting there, you know. And I just keep reminding myself, do you want to be that again? And I look at a picture and you're like, ooh, no. No. I look at myself and I, I didn't have a neck and I was all job of the hut. And I'm like, ooh. I, and people will say to me, I don't remember you that way. I, I remember myself that way. I remember not being able to breathe and being huffing and puffing. And, and I couldn't dance with the kids at school because I was out of breath. And, you know, try to keep up with five and six-year-olds. It ain't easy. But now, now I can dance those little rugrats, you know, and I don't get out of breath and I can bend over and tie shoes and I can get right up and I can do things and climb and hang things on the bulletin board and not have to sit there and worry I'm going to fall off because I'm too big. 
you have to find what your your what motivates you and you have to remember that and you just have to feel it and you have to work for it you have to work for it you know i don't know a lot of people saying that but you do you have to put the work in nobody's going to hand it to you unfortunately you have to put the work in and you can you can do it but you have to be consistent and consistency will pay off it will so that is it track my friends trackers unite so yes i want you to track i want you to enjoy tracking like i said i do the quick ad that might work for you as opposed to sitting there putting turkey bread cheese lettuce <laughs> sandwich five points i'm done it's just that's works for me and i'm honest about it and let's join the, the the tracking movement so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up but if you haven't already subscribed there's a subscriber i'd love to you to join my community do you like the new day see me on a monday instead of a saturday i'm gonna go home and do with myself one that means i could film something different on saturday oh <gasps> i don't I'll have to give that some thought. But yeah, I'm hoping the change of way and day motivates me to behave on the weekends because apparently I'm not. I'm not. So we just kind of have to make these adjustments. I used to get weight on a Tuesday and that really did straighten me out. So we'll see if this straightens me out. You know what? It's the little things you tweak. It's all good. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know how you did this week in the in the comment section below. And do you enjoy my WW Plus? I don't know. I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, I'm a goofball. It's late at night. I need to get to bed. You're gonna, I'm going to upload this tomorrow. So you'll see this on Tuesday. But I got waited on Monday. That's real confusing. I know. Don't up too low. I already uploaded two videos today. So you can't have too much D. Yeah, you could. But <laughs> all right. I, I could just keep chatting with you guys the rest of the day. But I got to get to bed. Have a great day. We will dish another day. Bye, folks.